Well, let's go for our weekly dose of common sense with Mark Latham, the leader of One Nation in the New South Wales Parliament. Mark, thank you again, as always, for your time. Look, I don't understand this. We've had rain, as you know, like no one would know. There are about 30 local government areas designated as natural disaster zones. There's been so much rain. But the $2.3 billion desalination plant has been dialed up to maximum capacity to produce 250 million litres of drinking water a day while floods have inundated the city. Why are we short of water? Well, Alan, in the wacky world of climate change, um, someone's decided that um, there's another crisis. Uh, the crisis is too much water. And the idea that uh, from the floods, it, it flushes out into the ocean, and then we've got to take it back, remove the salt, and use it as drinking water. We've, we've got so much water here in uh, Camden, in southwest Sydney, in the, the Hawkesbury, Nepean, the, the flood zones. People don't know what to do with so much Absolutely. water. Anyone on a bit of property, their dams are full, uh, their, their water tanks are full. It sounds like the most ludicrous uh, state government policy you'll ever hear of. Uh, Bob Carr built this uh, desalination plant, a complete white elephant, completely unnecessary. I'm I'm told that South Africa wants to build one. Can we ship it over there and sell it? <laughs> well, hang on. We've got so even, much water, we don't need it. I've we got don't even, need it at Kernel. I've got even worse news for our viewers. And you've got to say this slowly. When the, This thing's privately owned, by the way. And when it's operating, that's when it's operating, it costs the taxpayer $702,000 a day, a day. When it's not operating, $480,000 a day. Now, firstly, Mark, why do we desalinate and not recycle? I mean, why do we flush the toilet with the same water with which we make our tea? Well, none of it makes any sense. Um, I suppose this is all part of false prophecy. Uh, uh, Tim Flannery yeah. famously said that uh, Sydney's rivers would never fill again, the dams yeah. would never fill again. And they made him a the dam. They're trying to raise the wall 14 metres to hold more water. So Bob Carr obviously thought that uh, Sydney was going to run out of drinking water. That's ludicrous. And why don't we do more recycling? Well, quite frankly, at the moment, we, we don't need recycling yeah, so no, much as no. water removal. No. To get it out of the, um, the catchment areas where people have had to evacuate their homes yes. because of the floods. I mean, this is 250 million litres a day. That is 15% of Sydney's water supply. Now, now you don't, they don't come smarter than Mark Latham, and he doesn't understand, I don't understand, but when it pelts down with rain, all that water goes into the ocean, then we pay to have the salt taken out and bring it back as desalinated water. Uh, beyond belief, I would have thought. 